The first one is this concept of location data. It's not just the what, it's not just the when, it's the where. The where is powerful. Now, to join me on the stage is our Vice President of Solution Marketing, Jason Rose, to talk about this. Could everyone welcome Jason to the stage, please? Jason. Right. Welcome. It's so great, great to see you. Great to see you too, Steve. Now, I know that you, uh, you do have a, at least one mobile device, yes? At least one, absolutely. At least one. Okay, good. Well, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this, this combination of business intelligence and mobile data. It seems pretty powerful. Now, I know that we have integration. We just announced this between our BI 4.0 products and Google and their geolocation data. So if you didn't see the announcement, we struck a very large partnership with Google where we have access to all of their mapping data integrated with BI 4. But it's not just SAP, our partners are capitalizing on it as well. We've got this great partner, Centagon, and we'll be highlighting some solutions that they have to highlight our openness, number one, but number two, to also highlight our location capability. So Jason, I'll turn it over to you. Great, well thanks very much, Steve, and thank you very much to Ryan Goodman and the Centagon team for working with us on this next geospatial demonstration. But I think it just speaks to the openness of BI4. Not only do we have Centagon, but we have a whole host of partners that help build and extend our BI4 capabilities, many of whom are here and great sponsors of this show as well. So I highly encourage you to go out and visit the exhibition area, get to know the partners because this is one of many solutions that are available from our partners. But what I wanted to share with you, if uh, we can bring the uh, demo up on the screen, is um, a, a, a geospatial example that we've put together. So we saw the real-time dashboard feed that Steve did around uh, our retail sales, but we also live in a continuum. We want to see what's going on at all of our locations, perhaps around the Florida, uh, Orlando area. So here's a, a shot of Orlando. We can see some general sales territories. So many of you probably have a territory-based sales team. You can plot those territories out on the map, and we can very quickly, by selecting one of these territories, we can actually get some analytics directly on the total territory. So being able to look in, click on an area, and see how we're doing regionally across the uh, uh, greater Orlando area. But we've also got this in a very nicely layered format. So we can bring in and out additional pieces of information. So for example, if I didn't want to see the sales zones, I can remove that piece of information from the picture and now see just the pure map view and the red dots representing where our store locations are. Now, with an uh, iPad, the nice thing here is with the multi-touch, maybe I want to select which individual spots I want to go to over the next few days to visit a few of our store locations. So I'll just highlight on the map here and make a selection. So I've just selected a number of different stores in an area that perhaps I want to go visit. And now I can chart out and see performance across those stores. So I've just been able to randomly select a number of different locations. And then let's say I want to do some additional analysis. So I've got a little red green indicator here. I can see that the uh, waterfront store is perhaps one that I want to visit. And I can go in, I can open up Explorer and have a look. Now before I go into Explorer, as Steve mentioned, we've got a world premiere for you today of the new version of Explorer, which is right around the corner. So we're going to put this aside for a moment and come back to it and show you the new version of Explorer in a few moments. Great. Okay.